Hi, this is Paul Faulkner with the Cambridge Customer Service Department. What we're going to do today is we're going to convert a standard RCSS, Remote Controlled Station Security, thermostat to a TSS, Temperature Setback System. This is your standard RCSS controller module. You can see we have four buttons here, just simple heat on, heat off, and that's pretty much it. What we're going to do today is we're going to replace it with TSS here, part number 23-153. And this, this will give us the capability of programmable. We can set for occupied, unoccupied, holidays, a ventilation schedule so that your blower comes on if you just want ventilation throughout the evening or, or what have you. As you can see it has several more buttons. A little more complicated, but that's for programming. So, okay, so first off, we are going to go ahead and remove our four wires. We'll remove our sensor because we'll use this again with your TSS. Set this aside. That will take our standard screwdriver and we will remove the OET. Okay, there's our OET. Now we'll replace that with the TSS. Okay, now that's attached. So really, at this point, we can go ahead and rehook up these four wires. They're gonna go right back on where they were. Your red and your white are gonna go up here to your 24 volt AC contacts. Oops. We're going to put our black and our pink back in down here on heat fan relay. And we can go ahead and we can put our sensor back in. That's connected by lifting up these two little white tabs and simply sliding your bare wires back underneath there so it can get a grip. Fasten them down, just simply click them back down. Okay, that part of it's finished. Our next step will be to go ahead and replace our switch. In order to do that, you will probably have to go ahead and snip your wire ties here. Our next step will be to go ahead and start removing our wires from our terminal block. That will be wires R, Z1, Z2, and I think we just see why I brought the other screwdriver. And then of course we're going to loosen up W here. Okay, those are loosened and they're ready to be removed. So my next step I'm going to do right here now is I'm going to loosen our retainer nut of the key switch, part number 22-082. That's where our 7 8 comes in. Simply loosen that up. There you go. Now we can go ahead and begin removing all of our wires. And there we go. We have a loose switch. So We'll just slide it back out of the lid, as so. And our switch is removed. It will go in the same way that we removed the other one. Just bring it in through the front. Replace your retaining nut. So, our first step is to take our red wire, which is actually on post one and two and we will replace it back to our R terminal here. Our next wire, number three, and our gray wire, number four, they will be joined together so that we can place those on our Z1. I recommend twisting them together, maybe even stripping them a little extra. 
just so you get a better bite under that turbo. Next wire, number five, is our tan wire here. And we are going to place that on our Z2 terminal. And then finally, our brown wire will go back to W. Now that leaves us with the two orange wires. These are actually your vent wires for heat. We'll actually come down here and go to the top spade. This is important, otherwise the TSS will not function properly. And then your number eight wire will go down here to the bottom spin. And there you go, you're all wired in. Our next step will be to go ahead and install our timer so that you have your manual override. Okay, so we'll, we'll begin Installing our timer by first removing our two 516 nuts here on the door. You may need to use your standard screwdriver just to pry it loose with paint, like so. Set that aside. We're going to go ahead and puncture our label here up front. Be careful. This way we have access for our stem to go through the door. Just put your timer in, you will need the timer. And we will include two blue wires for you. We wish to go ahead and install these blue wires on your normally open. Snug those down. And that's a symbol. Our next step, go ahead and slide the stem through the hole in the door being sure to get our tabs on these studs that we removed our nuts from previously. While we're here, let's go ahead and hook up our two blue wires as well. We're going to run these over to our vent mode spades. These do not make a difference which one goes where. And your wiring inside is complete. Now comes time for our plate so that we can see what we're setting the timer for. Just slide that on there. Put your retaining nut back on. And this is where your 5 eighths driver comes in. Simply snug that down lightly. It is plastic, so we don't want to strip the threads. Now we can go ahead and install the included knob. Just slides right on there. And now we're able to set our timer and turn our timer off. At this point, we have basically installed the TSS. There's still some cleaning up to do here with the wiring, as you can see. This would be a good time to reinstall some wire ties and make this a bit neater. But that is a fully installed TSS. Your next step at this point is to watch our TSS programming video and see how we get that done. Thank you for your time today.